on third down conversions. Georgia's defense is really kind of confusing them and keeping the ball out of Calvin Johnson's hands very well so far. This drive starting at the 14 yard line. Fumble on the snap. Stafford trying to dig it out. And let's see who came up with it. Georgia Tech football. Oh. oh, what a break. And there is one of those turnovers that has bitten Georgia all season long. Nick, jo Nick Jones, the center, and Matthew Stafford, the quarterback. Just a bad exchange. You're going to see the ball. Never gets Matt, J Matt Stafford. The ball goes straight down to the ground. I don't know where it hit him. Hard to tell, but you got to believe it's the it's the rook, it's the freshman's mistake. Nick Jones is obviously a guy that's been there a while. He's a senior. He's been the quarter the the, the anchor of that offensive line for a lot of years. But there was a mix-up somehow. That's the second time the ball's been on the ground for the Georgia Bulldogs. You put it on the ground, you're going to pay the price, and they're going to pay the price right here. Let's see if they go to Calvin Johnson off the turnover up top. Through the hands, nearly an interception by Johnson, Keeling uh, Johnson, the free safety. And guess what? They did want Big 21. They did want him, and that was that Reggie Ball had no doubt in his mind where he was going to go with this football. And that's that's the problem when you get a guy like Calvin Johnson out there. You feel like you got to throw it to him, and and I, you know, if that throw was up where on the money where it could have been, where only Calvin Johnson can catch it, you know, you can justify a couple it, of throws Reggie Ball. for 22 yards, and Milner goes. 11 on that completion. Well, he is their leading receiver, and I think it's a good way to attack the Georgia Tech defense. This defense, again, they blitz a lot. When they blitz linebackers, the tight end is the guy that's going to be able to find those holes over the middle of the field on the flats on the outside, the short, quick throws for the quarterback. Pitch. Lumpkin. Trying to let that offensive line spread it out a little bit. He'll pick up to 38-yard line. And Hawaii, the defensive tackle, number 96, with the tackle. Three-year letterman out of Pensacola. Had a great chat with this young guy. He comes from the re a wrestling family. And he talked about the advantage he has up on that uh, defensive line about body lean and leverage. And there you look at his family. Liati Anawaii right there, his famous wrestling father. But yeah, the body lean, the leverage, he's got an advantage by growing up in that wrestling family. How to use his body and use his opponent's body weight against him. And we asked about the hip toss. He says, I don't really toss, you know, too many guys around, but if I have to, I can use it. It's an advantage, and it was a, a bigger advantage for him when he came in at Georgia Tech. He was a little bit undersized, and he had to have some different way to, to make it make his presence felt to make a difference out there. Now he's grown into it. He's 280 pounds now. But he told us he tried to downplay initially the significance of this game because the ACC championship has been their big goal. But when we pressed him on it, he finally said, all right, it's a huge game. It's about redemption. We need to win this ball game to leave with our heads up. Third down and six. Shotgun for Stafford. Let's the pressure come. Throws caught. Massaqua near the first down at the 47-yard line. Oh, that was a beautiful combo. Hit him right on stride. But cannot Good escape Wheeler Matt. and Guyton. Yeah, you know, that, that's Philip Wheeler coming off the edge. And right here, and you got a Guyton coming up the middle. A lot of pressure getting to... Matthew Stafford, they make a good hard play action fake, and you saw Wheeler actually looping all the way around the outside. And Matthew Stafford giving credit for fighting and trying to break out of it, but he was going uphill on that one, baby. Guyton and Wheeler were right there to make him pay the price. A loss of 11 yards, second down and 16, and again the clock running as Georgia owned time of possession in the first half. From the shotgun, Stafford pressure again, throws it a flat. Oh, what an ankle tackle. Lumpkin goes down. Was that Anawaii? Yeah, Joe Anawaii did a great job staying home and buckled the knees of Lumpkin. You know, if it wasn't for Anawaii on this play, he did a good job sniffing this thing out. You're going to see him on the on the inside middle of your screen. He's still, see him running out there with those offensive linemen. If he's not there, you've got two on two, two blockers out front. And that's going to be a good, solid game for the Georgia offense. But instead, Anawai splits the double team right there, splits both those guys. Lumpkin doesn't have a chance. 
I would have liked to have seen one of those offensive linemen turn back and try and get in front of Anawaii because he obviously was the first threat not to be. Third down, 19 for Georgia. Stafford over the middle. Up top he goes. Deep. Nearly intercepted. It was knocked down by Jahi Ward Daniels. He wanted Matthew Stafford to deal with it. Moses knows. Big plays. He's given his offense good field position deep in Georgia Tech territory. So after the interception from the 24-yard line starts Georgia down by three. And the run play goes nowhere. Danny Ware is dropped for a loss of three back to the 28-yard line. And Joanna Wai right in there being a force defensively. You're going to see him in the middle of the screen right there busting through and just throwing Sutherland out of the way and getting a hold of that ball carrier and taking him down. You know, that's a great example of leverage. We talked about the wrestling background. Right there, he seems just to have his feet planted. He pushes some traffic by, and he is standing right there. Yeah, I thought there's a little bit more offensive firepower. Georgia has 184 yards on the game. Georgia Tech, 134 total yards on the game. It's amazing that there's not been more explosion offensively. Give credit to the defenses, though. Nothing up the middle. As Lumpkin has dropped for no gain. Well, surprise, I think, also just the bizarre plays we saw in the third quarter. I mean, nothing more bizarre than the Tony Taylor fumble recovery and the 29-yard return that followed. And then just as key, I believe, I mean, that touchdown, you, you can't account for something like that. A tremendous play on Tony Taylor's on. part, but they get the... Master Quad and give him credit for being a tough little guy out there standing there taking a hit and getting the big first down Danny Ware has returned to the Georgia backfield first and goal at the four-yard line where the ball carrier Boy, the hole was wide open tech closed it no gain second down and goal And somebody's got to be talking about this in the Georgia Tech huddle right now Georgia needs a touchdown Let's not give it away here. Let's, let's fight for it. Make sure that they earn this touchdown. Great job by Philip Wheeler right there, being there to shut the hole off. You had Jahi Ward Daniels right there making the first contact. This is a big stand for a very good Georgia Tech defense. Field goal won't do much. Under three minutes to play. Second down, down and goal into the middle of that Georgia Tech defensive front and where is knocked down and a Y.E. You will not move Big Joe out of the middle. And you learn a lot about people in situations like this. You know, georgia has been running the ball down their throat here pretty much on this drive. Danny Ware's been doing a great job. The O-line coming off the ball. But Georgia Tech, they've got something. There's some presence in that huddle that's telling these guys, don't lay down here. Do not give in. We got to keep them from scoring a touchdown, and we win this ball game. 12 play of this drive, four wide receivers set, and the freshman goes under center. Stafford on third down and goal. Three step drop, one pump, a little flip, end zone, touchdown, Mexico! from Dallas did he give it to you he was brilliant on that play that was a designed pump fake trying to get the Georgia Tech safety to step up on the short fake
shaking cold These hands are meant to hold Just to make it through